Hi guys, now we are back to the second part of the video which is um, how to configure DHCP relay on R1. Right, so earlier on, I have given you guys uh, a probing questions which is um, referring to the topology given. What would happen if you were to verify the DHCP on PC0? As um, I've shown to you earlier, let me see, I've shown you earlier on, so it can be seen that the DHCP uh, failed and APIPA is being used here. So um, let us look at the answer. All right, so um, this is very useful for you guys. I mean, I give the uh, marks here, five marks. Of course, I won't take the marks from you guys. It's just an assuming that these um, questions um, requires you to answer and you'll be given five marks, okay, if you get the answers is right. So uh, what are the answers? So um, again, I would like to change the point options to pen here. So the answer is, okay, we have five marks, right? Right. So the answer is, so when you have five marks, you actually need to have um, three points. Okay. So the first point is actually um, a very simple answer. And for the second and third point, it should be a justification or explanation why it happens. So in um, the questions, um, it asks what would happen. So what would happen here is PC0 cannot require IP address from the DCP server. That's why you get the RP part address. Right, PC0 cannot acquire IP address from the DCP server. So this one, the mark is 1. Right. So the second uh, point is why PC0 cannot acquire IP address because DCP server, DCP server is on different network and is separated from the clients by a router. So, because DCP servers on different network separated by a router, right? So, that's two points, okay? So, for this answer, you get two points. And um, what happened when you are separated by a router? So, by default, when you are separated by routers, the DCP broadcast will never be forwarded, right? So, that another two points right so basically when you um, get a question with five marks you have to make sure that you have at least uh, three points so the first point should be a simple answer and the second and third point will be the justification or the reasons why um, the situation happened so the total marks is five marks okay um notice that um in the test that i have um two before it says apipa is being used so what is actually apipa okay so apipa is automatic private ip addressing so by default if um um, APIPA is actually a features in Windows based operating system. You can, um, uh, um, until Windows 10, you still have APIPA addressing. So, what APIPA does is it will assign automatic addressing if Windows based client um, fail to reach the DHCP server. So, hence the reason why you see here um, this is automatic addressing. Right? So, um, if you use or if you are assigned with APIPA, you can't actually um, send your packet across the router. So, say for example here, uh, we know that PC0 and DCP is on different network, right? So, say for example, I ping from PC0 to the DCP server, which is 192.168.1.142. So, um, you cannot ping, okay? Meaning there's no connection beyond the network. Okay, however, with APIPA, um, you can connect or you, you can have connection with uh, PCs or client within the same line. The same line, sorry, eh? the same line, right? So, say for example, here I add PC1, right? 
and we connect it through a straight through cable here and make sure you are in same vlan okay fast forward so i'll try to get the ip address using the dhcp okay um so you can see that um both fields both are assigned a people address so you should notice that um the ip the ip part address is unique eh? it's unique or because it use arp mechanism arp protocol uh, to make sure that the ip part address is unique between clients within the same lan right so you can test it okay even though you cannot connect to a client from different network but using apipa you can connect to the clients within the same network so if i ping 169.254.18.187 so you can see that there is a reply from pc0 okay so that's the use of apipa which is you be to enable a connection um, on the tcp ip layer uh, between clients within the same lan right but um that's not uh, the focus of this um lab so because this lab we will focus on um the dhcp really so because we already know that uh, DHCP servers is in different network because this is two different VLAN, right? So, of course, PC0 cannot communicate with DHCP servers and it cannot acquire the IP address from the server. So, what are the solutions here? So, the solutions here is okay, so we need to configure DHCP relay on R1. So, um, Previously, on the first part of the video, um, we configure R3 as DHCP servers. But if you already have a DHCP servers on your network and those DHCP server is in different network, so you can configure R1 as a DHCP relay agent. So how are we going to configure R1 SDCP relay agent. So first of all, okay, PC0 um, is in VLAN staff, which facing the interface of G0 slash 0 dot 10. So what we're going to do is um, on this particular interface, we need to set the IP helper address and configure the DHCP server address on this particular sub interface so what are the dcp server address here it is 192.168.1.142 so it's a very simple we have only two lines so let us try to configure the dcp relay agent on r1 so on r1 so enable, okay, config T. Now the command is IP helper address. Oh, sorry. So we need to go to the interface first. So the interface should be the interface that is facing the clients that would like to request for the DCP service. So in this case, this is the this is the network. So interface interface oh, sorry g0 slash 0 dot 10 and then we specify ip helper address okay and then you need to specify the ip address of the dhcp server so 192.168.1.142 now i just press fast forward here so we'll try again Right, so you can see that now it is successful. So we get 192.68.1.52 IP address. Let's see the IP address for the PC1. So PC1 gets the first 
um, IP address within the DCP scope range, which is 192.168.1.51. Alright, so basically our um, assignment of um, IP address from DCP server is successful. Alright, so um, you can test ping but uh, from PC1 to DCP server but um, pretty much if you see here we already acquire the IP address from the DCP server. Okay, lastly... Uh, this is the task for today. So I would like you guys to implement Lab 5 in Packet Tracer. So there is additional task in this um, Lab 5 implementation. We only configure one DCP server on R3. But what I want you to do now is I want you to configure multiple DCP servers on R3. So that PC2 which is on VLAN staff and PC3 which is on VLAN student can acquire IP address from both of the DCP servers. So the deadline, um, okay let me check the deadline of the submission. So the deadline of the submission should be on the... Um, Okay, 7 of April, right? 7 of April. So, I'll see you guys next week. So, I hope that you can understand our lab session today. If you have any questions, you can um, ask the question um, through the feedback um, part um, in the ULEARN or you can create another forum thread um, so that um, I can check it and answer it for you. So, Assalamualaikum and very good morning.